of the popular species of gecko kept in herpetoculture are primarily or at least partially frugivores which means that these animals consume fruits as part of their diet. A lot of these geckos will readily accept meal replacement diets that are available on the market and there's so many options that contain different types of dried and powdered fruits. But how do these geckos react when they're offered the raw fruit itself? In today's video, what I've done is selected quite a few organic fruits that make up the most popular flavors of meal replacement diet, and I've allowed them to overripen, chop them up into smaller bits, and what we're going to do today is offer these raw fruits in their most natural form, you could say, to the geckos to not only see how they go about eating them, but also to see which of these options are their favorite. So stick around today if you wanna see what type of fruit, based on the options available here, banana, peach, fig, and mango, are most favorable to Rhacodactylus lychianus and Corlophus ciliatus. In today's question of the day, I straight up wanna ask you this, which one do you think is gonna win? Don't cheat. <laughs> Seriously, don't cheat. Guess right away before we get into it. And then let's see who had it right. As always, I'll give you a comment a heart. I'll say heart because my hands are full, especially if you got it right. And we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation below about fruits, feeding fruits, etc. So let's get right into it, everybody. All right guys, so the first gecko we're going to be offering the mango, banana, peach, and fig to is Pingu. So let's go ahead here and see if she is ready. She's roaming around the enclosure somewhere. So let's place her fruit right here and see if she'll come and have some. It really didn't take long for me to realize that by having a small spotlight over the dish so that I could film them properly, the geckos were not interested in coming out into the light to eat. So I had to resort to drastic measures and bring out my night vision camera to record them in the comfort of darkness where they would feel safe to come out and eat. All right, it was time to get serious. Night vision camera was on and we were waiting patiently to see if Pingu would be interested in the food. Here she comes. You can see that her tongue keeps licking the air. She picks up on the scent of her fruit. Steady, steady. All right, you guys better have commented which one you think is gonna win. Here we go, the moment of truth. She's checking them all out. And it looks like she's going for the banana first here. Yep. Mmm, banana goodness. Oh yeah, she's definitely enjoying that. Nom nom. But now the big question is, will she eat any of the other fruits or is she content with this? 
Okay, the mango's close to her. Let's speed things up a bit. She's licking the mango. She has some interest. Well, let's switch the lights on, see if we can get some footage. There's the fig. Uh, it's hard to tell if she's gonna... Well, it appears that she's actually losing interest. Let's turn the lights back off and see if that makes a difference. Uh, nope. She's leaving. I think she's leaving. Well, let's get ready to feed Nona Firestripe. Alright guys, so here's Nona Firestripe. You can see her on the right side slowly sneaking over. She's licking the air. She's definitely picking up on the scent of the fruit. Nona. Okay, I think she's slowly noticing the food is there. Time to see which type of fruit is she going for. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well the fig is right there and it looks like that's what she's interested in. So let's see what she makes of it. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here just cause it's a pretty slow process. Oh, she's got it. All right, well she's eating her fig now. Mm, mm, mm. She seems to be really enjoying that. Now the big question, does she want to go for anything else? Oh, nope, she's out of there. Okay, so interesting enough, this crested gecko chose fig and decided to leave afterwards. Okay, let's get some fruit ready in a bowl for the lychees. As you can see, I'm making larger portions. Let's set it down on the ground, knock our lights off, and get our night vision on. Time to start recording. So, funny enough, it didn't take long for Lychee Nose to poke into the frame. But here's Leela, slowly inching her way towards the dish. You can see her tongue flicking as you saw with the Cresties. As she's checking out the dish of fruit here. So she seems pretty enthusiastic about getting in here and enjoying some fruit. Let's see what she decides to go for. So right away you can see she's going for the fig. Oh wow, yeah, she's very excited about the fig. Very nice, very nice. And it looks like she's about to go for the banana next. Yep, she's munching on that banana. Oh wow, look how they go for it. They're just not playing games, just chugging all of it in one bite. There's almost nothing left on the dish. You can see her tongue is quite involved in lapping it up and, and helping her swallow the food. Very neat. Now, you're quickly going to notice that she really doesn't discriminate whatsoever. I think that Lichianis are happy to eat all kinds of fruit here. Um, she is going to town on the mango. She's going to eat some of the peaches. It doesn't bother her at all. They're all tasty to her. <laughs> Let's try switching the lights on to see what is left. You can see her pupils dilate, which is kind of interesting. And we'll shut off the night vision setting. There we go. Looks like there's a tiny little piece of mango and peach left. Knowing how much she enjoyed that fig, I'm gonna give her a big piece and see if she'll eat that under proper lighting in front of us.
so guys, the verdict is kind of in here. It looks like for the most part, the animals were leaving peaches behind. Peaches and also mango. Funny enough, Nona here left back some banana and a little bit of peach. But these animals all went nuts for the fresh figs. Nobody was leaving fresh figs behind. If you notice here, lychees with a tiny bit of mango and a bit of peach. But those figs and bananas, gone. I put some more here to see if we would entice them. So far, nothing, but we'll see in the morning if it's there still. I'm going to bed. It is almost four in the morning and I feel like a National Geographic wildlife photographer filmer who hides in a tent waiting for animals to come by because I've had my camera gig all set up here and I've been sitting in this chair waiting to film and watch the animals through that little camera for hours. I just want you guys to know how much work goes into this. Filming them in the dark for hours. And no one is going for that dish yet. But I guess we'll see in the morning. I'll give you the honest answer. So yeah, very interesting. Well guys, good morning. So I come in to check on this food dish. Some mangoes fallen into the water dish. However, everything else is gone. So unless something else fell back here. These hooligans did finish their food. So they ate everything except some of the mango that fell in. So they're not super discriminatory towards the fruit, but I think we can again say, I think the, the case still stands, mango and peach, or peach in particular, was the least favorite food choice. Ah, well look at here, even Nona came back and ate more fruit. She took the mango and left the peach. So if you guess peach, I hate to say it, there might have been a way of losing at this. You lost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with flying colors, fresh figs. Of course, they go with the most expensive fruit. But yeah, now we know. It's kind of a fun little thing. Well, guys, there you have it. Mm. Fruit is so good. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Oh. Mmm. Figs. Very good. And if you'd like to support this channel further, you can buy me some fruit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you want to support this channel further, I have merch available down below, as well as a Patreon page you can support me through. Thank you so much all for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. If you'd like to see more videos about geckos, there's a playlist up above. And as always, mmm. Bananas are probably my favorite fruit. I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. See you guys.